Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. My name's Jade for any of you that are new around here and I'm an IVF mum to a beautiful baby girl called Layla Ray. And today's video is all gonna be about what we got up to on Easter. A little bit later than planned. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. I have got an update video coming this week to explain exactly what's been going on. I know that lots of you follow me for our IVF journey and everything that's happening with our secondary infertility right now. And I am aware that I have been so, so quiet, but there are so many reasons behind that. But today I just wanted to take some time out to be with Layla and Ian and just to have some of the Easter magic and share it with you guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy it. I hope you've all had a beautiful Easter. If you have not yet, please do hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, give me a thumbs up and as always, leave your feedback in the comments below. I hope you're well and I really hope you I absolutely the love content. these balloon arch kits. They were like £3.50 each from Home Bargains. Such good value. And you know what? The balloons were actually all right. The colours were really nice and not too many of them popped while I was putting them all together. I topped up with some of the white ones from Hobbycraft as I found previously that they're really quite sturdy and don't pop as much and they look really good as well. So if you're thinking of making your own little balloon decoration for an event, definitely look at the Hobbycraft balloons as well. But alternatively, these arches were amazing. The Easter crate I pretty much made myself. I bought the box from Hobbycraft and I got an account on Instagram, one of my good friends who make the stickers to go on. I'll link them in the description for you in case you're interested. Let's go. The Easter Bunny might have been here because I've seen. You need some shoes on. Hey, Daddy, get me some shoes. Daddy. Come on. What does it say? Say happy Easter. I absolutely loved putting <laughs> together this floral display and the balloon arrangement outside for Layla Ray. It's just something that I love doing for her on special occasions just to make them extra special. Ian always says to me, I don't know why you go to making all that effort. She's probably not going to remember any of it, but I always just love that idea that when she looks back at photos and videos, she'll know that I always made that effort for her where I could. This was actually hilarious. I managed to get an egg and spoon race again from Home Bargains for Layla Ray to go in her Easter box and she's never had an egg and spoon race before, but she got so stressed out that every time she was running, they were falling off. That In the end, Ian actually glued the egg to the spoon for her. Apparently, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. I'm not sure how many of you guys are gonna agree with that, but it made me laugh and Layla had the best time. Needless to say, when I raced, I lost. So Easter time for us is all about family time. So we've got a very lovely floral specialist near us who we use to supply us with all of our DIY flower cupcakes. Layla absolutely loves making them. If you follow me on my Instagram channel, you'll have seen her making them before for Mother's Day for her nannies. And we decided to get some larger ones today to take down and put down the cemetery for some very special loved ones who aren't with us this Easter.
We then popped to one of Layla's favourite country parks. We are so lucky to live on the south coast that we have all of this amazing outdoor activity on our doorstep. I do not think we'd have survived the last year without it. So we made the most of the sunshine and we got out and Layla ran wild. So again, if any of you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that Layla is obsessed with fairies. So every time she finds a great big tree like this, she looks in and calls for the fairies in the fairy houses to come and see her. I don't know, it's just something cute that we do and we've done ever since she was little and she loves it. I love to bake, I don't know about you, but I find any excuse for us to bake so I can consume the produces. The summer body is definitely not pending for me right now, but we loved making these super cute bunny cookies and we fully enjoyed eating them too. So I managed to get some super cute bath bombs which I actually didn't realise there was a surprise toy in them until Layla popped it in her bath on Easter Sunday and it came with this little squishy lamb which she absolutely loved so way to go home bargains another winner for the Easter hamper. I don't know about you guys I did get some nice bits but I started picking them up quite early and I found that they ran out quite quick and there definitely wasn't as much selection this year I'm guessing is due to everything that's going on in the world right now but I am so thankful for Home Bargains and B&M. So this was my absolute favourite part of the day. I got this gorgeous Layla Ray personalised mug from another favourite account of mine on Insta which I will link below and I got these marshmallow toppers to go on top of our hot chocolate which were amazing. The beautiful personalised cup and I got these super cute biscuits as well that loop over the side of the mug which you'll see in a moment and this gorgeous little personalised rabbit. Uh, keepsake which is now in Layla's memory box and we got a hot chocolate Easter egg now these are super amazing you're gonna see why in a minute who doesn't love a hot chocolate This was my absolute favourite bit. You take the chocolate egg, you pop it in the hot chocolate and it melts in there, turning the hot milk into a hot chocolate and it's full of marshmallows. It tasted insane. And I'm sure you'll see by Layla's face that she thoroughly enjoyed it too. That nice. Okay. What is it? Hot chocolate. I don't know what it is. Show me. Oh, can I have that? It sits 
Mosh. No, 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 I can't. 100. We love reading every bedtime we have at least two stories so I could not resist these cute Easter books. I hope you guys have enjoyed this Easter video. I'm so sorry it's late but I look forward to catching up with you all soon. Take care and lots of love.